noong June 29, 1995 sa isang lavish Gangnam district sa Seoul, South Korea. This one beacon of progress and economic growth suddenly came crashing down, claiming the lives of 502 people and injuring 937. So a byproduct of human ignorance, neglect, and greed. This is the collapse of the Sampung Department Store. Ayan. So, ang Sampung Department Store ay nasa Seocho area sa Gangnam sa South Korea. So, familiar naman tayo sa Gangnam dahil sa infamous 2012 hit na Gangnam Style which was a satire sa luxurious lifestyle connected to the area. And yung mm-hmm. common stereotype type of people who live in cheap, ram- cheap ramen so that they can afford to spend conspicuously na drinking sa mga expensive coffee shops and shopping sa mga luxurious boutiques. Very social Wait, climber ang ganap naman pala. Pa yes. isang gang ng style nga dyan. Sampo. Ganun ba yun? Eh, sexy lady. Yun ba yun? Okay, tama naman. Uh, Kasi di ba may isa pa siyang kansa? Ay, okay. So, nagsimula yung construction ng sampung noong 1987 and na-complete siya 1989. After it opened noong July 1990, uh, the huge bright pink structure attracted some 40,000 visitors every day. So, it had four basement levels, apat na floor ng shop above ground, tapos yung fifth floor naman ay nandun yung mga traditional Korean restaurants. So yun, four floors, four basement, tapos and a fifth floor. For most people in the building, Thursday, June 29th of 1995 was a day much like any other. Except for the fact na patay ang air conditioning. So mainit. Mm-hmm. Which was unusual para sa Seoul. Kasi with its hot, humid summer, di ba, mostly, dapat bukas yung aircon, di ba? Mm-hmm. Si Yuji Juan, one of the store's teenage employees, na naalala niya na nagagalit yung mga customer. Kasi, sabi nila, why does a prestigious store like Sampung not have a working air conditioning? Ay, Jeanette. Mm-mm. Parang pumunta ka sa ano, podium, tapos biglang, bakit mainit? Oh, hulas ang mga tao. <laughs> of course. As is usually the way with these things, it was a decision na ginawa ng management. Wala namang alam yung mga store, di ba? Yung mga tao sa baba kung bakit pinatay yung ano, yung aircon. They have no idea. Pero malalaman natin mamaya kung bakit. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. So may kinalaman pala yung pagpatay ng aircon. Si Park Xiong Hyun, Isang 19-year-old employee naman na nagtatrabaho sa children's department store ay nasa basement level 1. Uh, naalala niya, nasabi niya, even with the air conditioner off, we all kept working. It was just like any other day. Customers continued shopping and workers kept working. So tuloy lang ang buhay sa sampung department store kahit mainit. Grabe no, parang kung mainit na, parang hindi ka daw, hindi mo gugusto yung pumunta sa mall na to. Parang ko tayo, mainit sa Mega Mall, lipat na tayo ng ano, siyang, gali, ganyan. St. Francis Square. <laughs> St. Francis? Wala na. <laughs> Wala na ba yun? Ay, sorry. Parang lumiit na siya na, na lumiit, siya binihinta na yung iba-ibang part. Hindi na siya changi. Masa oh. maliit na lang siya. I see. Kasi nga, nung nag-boom yung ano, di ba? Ano nga ba yun? Yung online uh, casino. Uh, eh, Nako, eh, imagine wala mo kung, na yata ano, sila. Hmm. Kung pinatay ang aircon sa oh, sa sa galeria para na yung mga hmm. nag ano ng koko <laughs> koko <laughs> mahuhulas yung mga ano yung mga nag-aalok ng insurance. Uh. <laughs> They did hear that the restaurants do sa fifth floor had been closed kasi a crack had been found. Kaya sarado yung fifth floor. Anong Later crack in ito? the after crack sa mga uh, po, columns yan, mm-hmm. and sa floor. Later in the afternoon, fourth floor naman had been closed for trading too. So, sarado na rin yung fourth floor. 
However, as the city offices closed for the day, the usual rush came through of customers shopping on their way home. And the rest of the store remained open. So, 5th and 4th floor, Sarado. Uh, at about 20 to 6, there was a loud bang from the top floor. And a few minutes later, there was another bang. This time, louder. Then, the building's alarm started sounding and people started to panic. Hmm. You can just imagine. No? May Shit. alarm tapos... An, di mo alam kung anong nangyayari. May naririnig ka na lang ng loud bang. Park described the moment. Sabi niya, From across the store, there was a sound like a subway train entering a station. And when we heard the sound, people started running here and there. Suddenly, a piece of concrete dropped on my head and I was ah. knocked unconscious. Nabagsak na lang siya ng konkreto. After I awakened, I was completely surrounded by darkness and all sides around me were closed in. There wasn't any room. I cried for help and banged on the steel pipe beside me, but they couldn't hear me outside. So at that moment, hindi niya alam na ang buong entire south wing of Sampong department store had collapsed. All five floors right down into the basement. And uh, it had taken about 20 to 30 seconds and there had been approximately 1,500 people inside. So, ganun kabilis ang pagbagsak, pagkolaps ng sampung department store. Grabe, 20 seconds. Parang makakatakas ka ba? Parang kailangan mabilis kang uh, mag-isip nun kung anong gagawin mo para makasurvive, di ba? Hmm. Eh, pag ganun kabilis ang mga ganap, minsan tulala ako eh. Oo oh, huh? nga eh. Ano Egy na. No? <laughs> Bago pa ako maka, maka-react, alam mo yun. Bago ka maka-duck cover and hold, wala oh, na. Tumatagos na pala ako sa mga bagay-bagay. 